All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So at this point in time, the global and JP versions of the game are pretty much as close as they've ever been. You know, I would say as far as summonable units go, global is probably around three months, give or take, behind JP, which is really, really good. But that's not quite the case when it comes to Extreme Z Awakenings, where believe it or not, global is actually still missing 20 easy A's from the JP side. So in today's video, I want to do a quick rundown of all 20 of these easy A's that we're still missing to uh, help you guys, my fellow global players, get fully prepared for when they eventually make their way over. Okay, now before we jump into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to my friends over at Pain Shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very generous prices on my Dragonstones over the past couple of months. If you guys are looking to save yourselves a decent amount of money on your next Dragonstone purchase, possibly for the upcoming, you know, worldwide campaign, then uh, make sure to hit them up on Twitter. Link in my description down below and make sure to let them know the boy Tiger sent you. Okay, so with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. We're not going to go really in any particular order, but let's start with the Fizz LR Kid Gohan from Super Battle Road and uh, we should actually be getting him soon because his easy A will be dropping with the extreme Super Battle Road mode which we've been hearing rumors about uh, potentially you know this mode coming to global very soon possibly with the worldwide campaign maybe after but I would say within the next one or two months we should be seeing this on global okay so let's just jump into it his leader skill after Extreme Z Awakening, it's going to be all types Q plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, which is amazing for a rainbow leader skill, right? Like, you can build so many different teams with this kid, because literally anybody can fall under his leader skill. So this is actually going to be really good for uh, link leveling, right? Because sometimes you want to level a bunch of different kinds of units, like their links, but you don't really, like... You know, they don't really fit on the same team. Now we can literally just bring this kid 120% Q plus 3 for all types and uh, you'll be good to go, right? So that's a leader skill. Super attack 12 key is going to cause colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And 18 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive will be Q plus 2, attack and defense plus 77%. Plus an additional key plus 7, attack plus 58%, and disables enemy's guard when HP is 58% uh, 58 or less, reduces damage received by 58% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn, not including youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. Okay, so if you just compare this kid to his pre-awakened form, where he got 10,000 defense, and the key plus 5, 25,000 attack and 10,000 defense and minus 10,000 defense when HP is 50% or below. Um, that is a huge upgrade, man. Like this, this kid was probably, I would say, the worst LR in the game. And maybe that was Piccolo, but he was definitely one of the worst LRs, like including all the free to play ones in the game before the EZA. And now he becomes really, really good, man. 58% damage reduction with a Goku on the team. Uh, or attacking in the same turn and uh, you know getting a lot of key getting a lot of attack all that stuff so yeah very good easy a uh links are the same as before categories of course same as before usually i would go into more detail you know just talking a little bit more about uh these units but since we got 20 to go through i'm gonna try to keep it fairly surface level in today's video okay so there is the kid gohan coming with the extreme super battle road mode whenever that drops and uh, let's move on to a few other easy A's that we probably should have already gotten on global. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the delay is. And uh, of course, that would be the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and Fizz Berserk Kale. Now, these girls came to JP during the Kefla campaign. And of course, we just had a Kefla campaign on global. And for some reason, they didn't release. They are in the game files. They are... Uh, gonna be coming, of course, at some point, but I don't really know why we didn't see them during the Kefla campaign. It's kind of weird. Anyways, moving on. Uh, let's talk about Ka Khalifla. Okay, so AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, leader skill, key plus 3, all types, key plus 3, 
HP, attack, and defense plus 80%, super attack, supreme damage, and raises defense by 60% for 3 turns. Passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60%, high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, or medium chance of evading enemy's attack, of, of enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So she has a 50% chance to evade all attacks, but she also has a 30% chance to evade super attacks and countering, okay? And, and then attacks effective against all types when there is an ally whose name includes Kale attacking in the same turn. So very good EZA for Khalifla right there. Same thing for the Kale. Uh, Fizz type Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And passive is attack plus 160%, launches an additional attack, which has a great chance, which is a 70% chance of becoming a super attack, reduces damage received by 60%. For 6 turns from start of turn, reduces damage received by 60% with 6 or more Fizz Key Spheres obtained starting from the 7th turn from start of battle. So essentially, she loses this guaranteed damage reduction after 6 turns, but she can still get it if you can give her 6 or more Fizz Key Spheres, which obviously is not the easiest thing to do, easiest thing to do but if you bring an Orb Changer like Kefla or uh, maybe the uh, Fizz Support Gohan that just got an Awakening on Global, then uh, you should be able to get those orbs still pretty frequently, okay? So that is the Kale. She's going to hit really hard. That double super is going to happen a lot, sometimes triple supers with dupes. So uh, yeah, she's amazing as well, okay? Really was looking forward to these girls dropping with Kefla, but since we didn't get them with Kefla, we're going to have to wait a little bit, but hopefully it's sooner than later, okay? So moving on from there, we got the tech... LR Super Saiyan Goku, the prime battle LR Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, I've been waiting for this guy's ECA for forever, man, ever since I started playing the game, basically. I mean, <clears throat> at, at the time, there were no Extreme Z Awakenings, but when we first heard about Extreme Z Awakenings being a thing, and we first saw AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I've been wanting this guy to get an ECA, so I'm glad that he's finally coming. Now, we are going to have to wait for a while, because he is actually getting an EZA uh, as part of the 2000 day celebration on JP, or I mean, it was on JP, and then of course, when it comes to 2000 days on Global, we'll also get him for that. And uh, it's not gonna be for a while, because as you can see, it was July 20th on uh, JP. Global is about six months behind uh, JP as far as like the release date goes, so 2000 days is gonna be sometime in the beginning of 2021 okay so we are gonna have to wait for a while but i still want to give you guys the details right now so you guys are ready of course and uh, let's talk about it okay so his leader skill is super super class q plus four hp attack and defense plus 90 percent or extreme class q plus three hp attack and defense plus 70 percent super attack 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and 18 key causes mega colossal damage uh, and then allies attack plus 30% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% for one turn. His passive is attack and defense plus 59% plus an additional key plus 3 and defense plus 59% as the first attacker in a turn plus an additional attack plus 59% when performing an ultra super attack and all allies key plus 3 when attacking super class enemies. Yo, talk about an upgrade, man. Talk about an upgrade. So attacking events was 59%, some extra key and defense as the first attacker, plus additional attack was 59% when performing ultra super. Also supporting your allies when attacking extreme class compared to 10,000 attack and 3,000 defense when facing one enemy. To be fair, for how old he was, even before the EZA, he can still do some like pretty impressive damage. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I, I I was like showcasing him about maybe six months ago, a year ago, and I was like, dude, his damage is actually still like decent, and that, that's because of his um, stats, right? He has very good stats, but with the easy A, he becomes one of the uh, I, I would say he might be the best free to play LR in the game now. I don't know if I'm ready to give him that title, but he's definitely up there. Like he's really really good with the easy A, so. Uh, there you go guys, the Tech LR Super Saiyan Goku Extreme Z Awakening coming to global, most likely 
at the beginning of 2021 unless they change it up and like release him at a different time which could happen um, it's gonna be a little while okay now for his extreme z awakening it's actually kind of unique where he requires a bunch of free to play eza units at max potential like fully awakened max potential and uh, there are actually three of them are still missing from global at the moment and of course we have to get those ezas before this guy's extreme z area comes because otherwise we can't actually complete it right so one of them is the uh agl cooler from the baba shop and uh his extreme z awakening is or his leader skill after extreme z awakening is all type q plus two hp attack and defense plus 50 percent super attack raises defense infinitely stacking causes supreme damage and lowers defense and passive is attack and defense plus 100 percent attacks effective against all types all allies keep plus two and all enemies attack and defense minus 20 percent when there is a goku's family category enemy and then launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack so really um i mean potential at least to be a very good unit with that uh, effective against all types and also the debuffing when you're facing a goku's family enemy but he also does launch a media uh, additional attack guaranteed which has a 30 percent chance or 25 percent chance of becoming a super attack and uh yeah so that is one of the units that you will need one of the eza units we will need for the uh, tech prime battle goku extreme z area event another one is this frieza right here his leader skill after eza is wicked bloodline category key plus three hp attack and defense plus 77 percent or in types key plus three hp attack and defense plus 50 percent uh, super attack raises attack infinitely stacking causes supreme damage and lowers attack passive is attack and defense plus 100 percent guard activated against all attacks and all allies key plus two and attack and defense plus 20 percent when there is a goku's family category enemy and reduces damage received by 50 percent when guard is activated okay so he is kind of like a more defensive version i guess of the cooler like they, they do have like kind of similar passes except this guy will do more damage whereas the frieza becomes much more tanky when facing goku's family and uh yeah that is another one of the units oh by the way he awakens from this frieza right here which awakens from this frieza from the uh, full power frieza dokkan event okay so that is another eca that we need and uh, we also need this Lord Slug Extreme Z Awakening. He's awakened from this Lord Slug from the Lord, Sl uh, Lord Slug story event. So with his EZA, his leader skill is Namekian's Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or tech types Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, supreme damage, lowers defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and passive is Q plus 3. Attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense boost by up to 30%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%. When facing two or more enemies, recovers 30% HP. When HP is 30% or less. That is a crazy amount of healing, man. It's not only once, too, because usually when it when units have like these like healing passives below a certain amount of HP, it's like once only, right? But for him every single time you fall below 30 percent hp he will heal you um so that's awesome man that's a lot of healing every single time so uh there's the lord slug right there and uh, his links are namekians nightmare metamorphosis their thirst for conquest big bad bosses demonic ways shattering the limits categories or movie bosses namekians dragon ball seekers terrifying conquerors and inhuman deeds and of course the reason i'm reading these is because his awakening actually like his dokkan awakening isn't available on global yet so we'll be getting his uh, Dokken Awakening and Extreme Z Awakening at the same time. And uh, next up we have, who else? Oh, the Int Raditz. Okay, wait, did I say three of them were missing? If I said three before, there's actually four. Okay, so Int Raditz is also another easy A free to play unit that we need for the Prime Battle LR Goku Extreme Z area that we currently don't have on Global. So leader skill, after EZA is low class warrior key, uh, key plus 4, HP attack and defense, or HP and defense plus 60%, attack plus 100%, or int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, causes supreme damage to all enemies and lowers defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 80% at the start of the turn, key plus 6, 
attack and defense plus 60%, and super class enemies, attack and defense plus uh, minus 10% when facing two or more enemies. So this guy becomes a very good option for um, World Tournament after his EZA. Like before his EZA, he was okay, but he was really struggling on the harder, harder difficulties, like 20 times, 25 times, 30 times. But with the EZA, he actually does enough damage to like consistently just be viable on the higher difficulties of World Tournament. So that's awesome right there. And... Um, Aside from that, I mean, like, I could read the links and categories, but they're the same as before, so there you go. And uh, after that, let's move on to this guy right here, the STR Kaioken Goku, once again from the Lord Slug event. Now, uh, for this guy, he's actually not, like, needed for the Prime Battle LR Goku's Extreme Z area, but he does come at the same time as the uh, Lord Slug EZA, so I thought it would make sense to talk about him right now. And after EZA, his leader skill is Pure Saiyans, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or STR types, keep plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack greatly raises attack, which can be stacked infinitely, and causes supreme damage to enemy. Passive is attack and defense plus 77%, plus an additional keep plus 3, and attack and defense plus 77% when HP is 77% or less, plus an additional attack plus 33%, and high chance of performing a critical hit when there is a Piccolo on the team. So there you go, STR free-to-play Kaioken Goku. And from there, we have the 1,000-fold plea, 1,000-day login bonus, LR Goku. And he will be getting his Extreme Z Awakening when you hit 2,000 days in, in total logins. Like cumulative, cumul can't say that word, man. Cumulative... Login days, when you hit 2,000, you'll be getting 5 more copies of this Goku, I believe, as well as the EZA medals to uh, fully Extreme Z Awaken him, right? So, it's uh, very exclusive, and for some people, it's going to be quite some time, like a, a lot of time, before they can actually have access to this guy's EZA. But um, for those of you that are somewhat close, you know, your OGs, you've been playing for a while. Like for me, I'm still about 700 days or so away, but... I know there are some people that played since like day one or close to that, so if you're close, then you should get this guy uh, sometime in the beginning of 2021 once again. And his leader skill after EZA is all type skill plus 3, HP attack and events plus 120%, just like the Fizz LR uh, Kid Gohan. And his 12 key is going to cause colossal damage and raise uh, allies attack and defense by 20% for 2 turns. And 18 key is Mega Colossal Damage and raises allies attack and defense by 30% for one turn. And his passive is attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional key plus one, attack and defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 7% and recovers 7,777 HP per key sphere obtained. So a lot of stuff is happening while you're getting key spheres, right? Recovering HP, getting more key and getting more attack and defense and critical hit chance with every key sphere plus an additional defense plus 1000 for key sphere obtained for 1000 turns from start of turn and uh, plus an additional uh, attack plus 2000 per key sphere obtained for 2000 turns from start of turn so obviously like it's essentially infinite because you're never going to reach a thousand turns or 2,000 turns, right? But that's pretty cool. And so once again, this has got to be like the most exclusive Extreme Z Awakening in the game. In fact, most people, I would say a lot of people are probably never going to get this because 2,000 days is a lot, okay? Like many people, I mean, I'm definitely going to get it. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to get it as well, but a lot of people that are more casual with this game are never going to play it for 2,000 days. So if you see somebody with this guy, Extreme Z Awakened, you know they're like, they're, they're an OG, man. They're like a real one, you know? So, <laughs> there you go. 2,000 day, uh, or 1,000 day LR Spirit Bomb Goku with the 2,000 day Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, links, of course, are the same as before. Categories are the same as before. And there you go. Okay, now let's move on to the Tech Majin Buu South Supreme Kai Absorbed. And uh, his leader skill is Tech Types, Key Plus 2. HP attack and defense plus 70%, and the super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. Passive is key plus 3, 
attack plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense boost by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost. So at 100% uh, HP, he's getting 200% attack, um, or sorry, 200% attack, 100% defense, and key plus 3. And uh, he also reduces damage received by 20% when HP is 80% or more, recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. So this guy's passive, um, essentially just working to keep him, you know, at a high level of HP, or keep your team at a high amount of HP to ensure that he gets as big of a boost as possible from this part. And um, links, you know, same as before, categories the same. And uh, yeah, really good EZA for this guy, man. He hits really, really hard. Like, he does so much damage. Defensively, he's going to be good too because he has the 100% uh, defense, but also the extra 20% damage reduction. He's also healing you. So overall, just an amazing Extreme Z Awakening right there. And we're going to talk about the tech Majin Vegeta now. Leader skill, all types, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 60%. Super attack, supreme damage to all enemies with a chance, with a chance of stunning them, which is 25% chance, which is actually a lot higher than I thought. And then passive is attack and defense plus 60%, raises key by up to 3, and attack and defense by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the key and stats boost, plus an additional attack plus 88% when performing a super attack when HP is 60% is or less once only. And that is the Majin Vegeta for you. Like I said, guys, I would go into more detail if I could, but this video is already running like super long, so we gotta move on. There's still at least, I don't know, like 10 to get through or something like that. Uh, maybe not 10, but like quite a few. So there's the Fizz Good Majin Buu, which I'm actually super jealous of JP right now is that they have this guy with the Extreme Z Awakening, because using him as a connector on the uh, current chain battle boss with an EZA actually makes a big difference. That's why JP players are able to hit even higher numbers, like a lot high, higher numbers actually, than uh, global players because they have this guy with an EZA. Anyways, uh, all types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 60% is the leader skill. Super attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense. Passive is attack and defense plus 66%, key plus one up to key plus three and attack and defense plus 22% up to 66% with each attack received recovers 30% HP whenever HP is 40% or less. So crazy healing just like the Lord Slug we talked about and uh, you know able to do some decent damage and tanking as well with this additional part of his passive. If you look at his previous passive actually he only recovered HP before. Like his old passive was literally recovers 25% HP when HP is 40% or below. I, like that's that's good, but that was that's nothing compared to what it is now. So that's awesome, and uh, of course with the EZA, just like all other units, he gets better stats, which uh, once again makes a big difference for chain battle. Okay, so from there, let's move on to the STR Topo. Yeah, so I am super stoked for this guy's EZA. He becomes one of the best supports in the game. Maybe the best if you consider everything, like not just the support passive, but also like everything else he can do. He, I think, could be the best support in the game right now. Okay, so leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, uh, super attack supreme damage, raises allies attack by 30% for one turn, passive is attack and defense plus 70%, all allies key plus 1, and attack and defense plus 40%, and all enemies defense minus 70% reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 70% or less. So, yeah, he does everything, man. He does so many things. He uh, will raise attack on a super. He gets his own attack and defense. He gives key plus one and attack and defense plus 40%, which is awesome, to all allies. All right, not just a specific category, not just a specific type of unit. He gives everybody key plus one, attack and defense plus 40%. He also reduces enemy's defense by 70%. Like that is a huge debuff every single time he's on rotation and he also reduces damage by 40% man so he's going to be he's going to be really tanky uh when you're below 70% HP too so yeah I love this guy's EZA man can't wait for it to drop on global and uh you know just continue to make that realm of gods team even more OP than it already is so there's the topo and of course the dispo also came with him 
So for Dispo, his leader skill is uh, AGL type skill plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack supreme damage, raises attack and defense by 50% for 6 turns, and his passive is attack plus 20% and chance of evading enemies attack including super attack plus 20% up to 60%. At the start of each turn, plus an additional attack plus 20% within the same turn after evading an attack. So this guy is uh, pretty interesting. Obviously, um, he has one of the craziest passives as far as like uh, the max potential for his passive. So it says here, attack plus 20% for 99 turns at the start of each turn up to attack plus 10,000. So in theory, in theory, he could have the biggest attack boost in the entire game but because it's impossible to actually reach you know 99 turns um you're never gonna have that crazy of a of an attack passive but um he could be kind of fun to use on like some of those longer events just to see like how high his attack stack can get and he does get up to you know 60 percent evasion rate uh, after three appearances which is really high and uh, yeah while i wouldn't say he's like busted or anything like that like i've heard i heard some people say that when the dcls first came out they're like yo this dude is busted now i wouldn't say that but uh he definitely is a very fun unit to use right so that is the dispo and now we got a couple of free to play girls from the rebrand event we got the str rebrand easy a we got a new kakunza with an easy a as well as a rosie with an easy a okay so let's start with rebrands easy a first leader skill Epigal's key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 99%, or STR type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. So she actually has two different super attacks. The first one raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers defense. So that is the Rebrian Super Amor Shower. And then there's the Rebrian External or Eternal Love, which has a 30% chance to proc, and that one raises attack and defense for one turn. Causes supreme damage with greater power. She does more damage by raising her super attack multiplier by 60% and then lowers uh, defense. Her passive is attack defense plus 22% per Peppy Gals category ally on the, ter on the team. Recovers 22,222 uh, HP per rainbow key sphere obtained plus an additional attack and defense plus 22%, chance of performing a critical hit plus 22% and chance of evading enemies attack including super attack plus 22% when there is an ally whose name includes Rosie or Kakunza attacking in the same turn. So clearly there's a lot of stuff going on here but um, she's doing a little bit of everything right? She is recovering HP with rainbow key spheres, she's getting additional attack and defense with Peppy Gal's category allies, she's also getting more attack and defense, getting more crit chance, getting evasion chance when you have Rosie or Kakunsa attacking in the same turn. So speaking of Rosie and Kakunsa, let's move on to the Kakunsa here. She's also farmable through the uh, Rebrian story event. So her uh, leader skill after EZA is special pose category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77% or AGL types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Her super attack raises attack, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack. And her passive is attack and defense plus 80%. Special pose, category allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%, plus an additional defense plus 22% at the start of each turn, and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is an ally whose name includes Rebrian or Rosie attacking in the same turn. Her links are Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis, Innocence, Signature Pose, More Than Meets the Eye, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. In categories Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Transformation Boost, and uh, Special Pose. Okay, so there is the Kakunsa, and the Rosie gives Special Pose category allies key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70 77%, or sorry, not allies, just category units under her leader skill, 77%, uh, or in types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Her super attack raises defense, causes supreme damage, and lowers defense. Her passive is attack and defense plus 80%, special pose, category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 22%, plus an additional attack plus 22% at the start of each turn, and seals the attacked enemy super attack when there is an ally whose name includes Ribrian or Kakunsa attacking in the same turn. Her link skills 
are Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis, Innocent, Signature Pose, Signature Pose, More Than Meets the Eye, Tournament of Power, and Shattering the Limit. In our categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, Transformation Boost, and Special Pose. Okay, so those are the three free-to-play um, Rebrand Story Girls. And finally, we got the two 120% leads we're currently missing from JP. Obviously, there will be more, like Int Gogeta, uh, Fizz Cooler, and so on and so forth when they become available on JP as well. But right now, these are the two we're missing. The Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly and the AGL Super 17. So starting with Broly, his leader skill will be Extreme Tech Types keep plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 130%. was really hoping it would be 150%, but you know, what can you do? Okay, 130% or Super Tech Types keep plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack causes immense damage and massively lowers defense 80% for 3 turns. The debuff, which is really good. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%, attack plus 12%, and defense minus 6%. Per key sphere obtained. Medium chance of launching an additional super attack with 3 or more tech key spheres obtained. Now, I did see a lot of people were pretty disappointed by the fact that. He still loses defense with key sphere with every key sphere obtained, but at the very least, right? It's not 10%; it's only 6%, and he also gets 120% defense at the start compared to no defense at all. So, you know, it does. Um, it is a big improvement, that's for sure. It would have been nice to not have that at all, but I guess they felt the need to still include that to balance him a little bit more because he's going to be doing a lot of damage. This guy hits really, really, really hard. He, he hit really hard actually before the EZA, but with the EZA, he hits that much harder. And he also has a medium chance of, a, of a launching an additional super attack, which is, you know, 25%, right? So, um, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the EZA. Like, I wasn't expecting too much. I didn't expect him to be, like, game-breaking by any means. And uh, I think it's more than good enough. That's just my opinion. But of course, uh, different people have different opinions, which is fine. But that is the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Mildly excited for him. Not like the most excited, but, you know, I, I can't wait to actually be able to use him now with the EZA, right? And then we have the Tech or the uh, AGL Super 17, who actually is much better, in my opinion, than the Broly. His leader skill is going to be uh, Extreme AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, Super AGL Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. His passive is Damage Received minus 40%, Key Plus 1 up to Key Plus 3, Attack plus 30% up to 150%, and Damage Received. Minus 6% up to 30% with each attack received. Target Goku, category allies, chance of performing a critical hit plus 17%. So he's buffing crit chance by 17% for himself as well as anybody else in the category. He's also already getting 40% damage reduction, which he had before, but now he has better stats, so it makes a bigger difference. And he's also getting more key, getting up to 150% attack and also additional 30% more damage reduction. So uh, yeah, just a really good, well-rounded unit, hitting really hard when you stack up that attack, uh, tanking really, really well. And I'm the kind of person that, generally speaking, will prefer a more defensive unit over a unit that hits really, really hard, but it's more of a glass cannon, you know, like having like very low defense. Like for Broly, I wouldn't say his defense is very low, but it's, it's not going to be that impressive. He's not going to be tanking that well, right? But for this guy, this guy is like a top tier tank while outputting, you know, like very, very impressive damage and also providing that little bit of support or target. Actually, no, that's not a little. 17% crit chance is actually really high. So um, that's great too. Yeah, overall, just love this Super 17 EZA. Can't wait for it. And uh, that, that's pretty much it, guys. That does it for all the EZAs we're currently missing from the JP side. Obviously, this list is going to continue to grow as JP gets the other 120% lead EZAs and also you know, some other side units getting their EZAs like uh, Mask Saiyan, for example. But for now, these are all the ones we're missing. And uh, that is the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Quick rundown here. We got Super 17, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Rosie, Kakunsa. Uh, Rebrian, 
Uh, who is this? This bow, Topo, uh, Fizz Good Boo, Tech Majin Boo, uh, Majin Boo South Supreme Kai. We got the Thousand Day Spirit Bomb Absorbed, or not Absorbed, Spirit Bomb Goku. Um, we got the SDR Kaioken Goku, Int Raditz, Tech Lord Slug, Int uh, Final Form Frieza after some awakenings here. Yep, Int Final Form Frieza and uh, AGL Cooler, Tech Prime Battle LR Goku, Fizz LR Super, uh, Super Battle Road, Kid Gohan, uh, Fizz Berserker Kale, and AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. So that is everything that we can expect to get within the next, I would say, uh, probably like six months or so in terms of these EAs on global. And uh, that's it, guys. That's all I gotta say. Thank you once again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something by watching this video. And as always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.